so in last video we studied about or operator so today we will see a small example on that uh, not exactly example but kind of uh, you can say kind of the way of applicate application right so let's say you have two sensors let's just say okay analog sensors that can be used to measure temperature and the uh, smoke okay so if if let's say you have a factory where you have two sensors or in a room or something uh, let's say if uh, one of the thing is going beyond the level that means if the temperature is going beyond the level or if the smoke is going to the beyond the level let's say you are assuming there is fire in the room okay let's say you are not in the room but the system will assume that okay so what we can do is uh, uh, okay so let's um, if, if none of them are there then there's no fire but let's say there's no smoke but temperature is rising beyond the level then you assume there's a fire without smoke and if you see and then in such in another scenario you see there is no temperature rise but the smoke level is increasing though so then you think uh, by some reason the temperature is not increasing but the fire is there because smoke is there so it is an over condition right because either temperature or smoke if any of this is available you will find you will assume the system will assume that the fire is there it is fire right it has to alarm or it has to say give a serial print or something it has send a message or whatever okay it will do if both are not there okay if both are false then there is no fire right if the temperature is also not going beyond the level if the smoke is also not going beyond the level then there is no fire if both are beyond the level both are okay if the temperature is also beyond the level smoke is also beyond the level then there, there is obviously fire because both are high right so it is exactly a or operator condition so if you don't understand go and watch the or operator video previous video and come back okay so first what i will do is i will uh, we are just going to try the scenario that's all you say int uh, t that is temperature um and we will uh, say int int s okay so then the void setup you will say uh, we are going to take two inputs right so we will first say Mm, pin mode oh these things you know right because we studied the analog inputs for a long period of time because let's say pin temperature temperature sensor is uh, assigned or connected to pin number a0 okay and also smoke sensor is connected to pin number a1 okay there is there is no guarantee that this is the temo, smoke sensor or temperature sensor i am just assuming right so sometimes smoke sensors may be your temperature sensor may be a digital one also that is possible it depends on what you are using but i am just assuming right just for the explanation i am taking like that you understand that so you it will depend on which temperature sensor or smoke sensor you are using so you may have to change the program accordingly but the logic is the same okay so then also we will have some serial monitor stuff serial dot begin 9600 understandable right okay so if you don't understand you can let me know in the comment i will try to explain it again so i mean in another video <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> now we will take that input so you know what is this analog read uh-huh analog read if you followed up my videos you simply will tell the answers right a0 and we assign it to uh, t yes or no yeah that means you are going to continuously watch the values read the values then only we will know if there is a change obviously right so and other one smoke is let's say connected to a1 so you understand how it works right analog read a1 okay so let's put it this way okay Right, now you have your if condition part that is also we say we are going to use an or operator okay so what we will do is i will write if uh, we will have the threshold value as um, uh, let's say this analog read value goes from 0 to 1023 now so actually uh, since this is just analog read value we cannot assign it to t and s because uh, to measure the temperature we have to convert it to uh, using a uh, proper equation right you may remember the lm35 thing okay we cannot directly assign analog values uh, analog value will go from 0 to 1023 now so from the nature of the sensor or which sensor you are using they will give you an equation actually okay or, or even they will give you a quote where you take the analog input value and you 
multiply or divide or you you do something with that value and you get a new value that means you do a function with the value maybe you multiply it with the particular value and you make it you convert it to a temperature value okay maybe like 512 will be maybe 50 degrees celsius who knows like that the the equation would be like that so then only you can assign it to t likewise smoke sensor is all same okay you cannot have this 0 to 2023 you will get the 0 to 2023 and you will do some equation and then you will assign it to s that is the way right but here just for us to understand and we are not using directly using any sensors right and we don't know which sensor we are going to use just to understand i am directly assigning the analog values i hope you can understand that so what i am going to do is i am going to have t is uh, greater than 512 because this analog value will go from 0 to 1023 so when it when you convert and when you get it as a proper temperature then it will be like 35 degrees or something right your value 30 or 35 degrees or something because temperature values will not be 512 in real life okay normally i hope you get the point so i will close this uh, i will have it as 512 because i am directly assigning the analog values just to understand so you understand the concept right that's what i want so then uh, you will serial print Ah, it is not completed, right? So we are going to use an OR operator. I forgot it, right? OR operator. Okay. And say S. Okay. Is greater than that. Also, we will have 512. Let's say temperature and smoke. 512. Then you will serial print begin. Serial print. Alert there is fire. No, no, no. We will have just some fire alert. Fire alert. Okay, in your serial monitor let's say your computer is somewhere else and wire connected just remember just thing like that okay uh, so you can even send a sms or a online app app based notification if possible oh my god where is it uh, that's explanation all right all good right okay that's beautiful right then otherwise you don't do anything if if, if both are not uh, both are lower than that 512 then you are not doing anything okay so you know who decides this that's what my question like so according to if condition now we if one of this is more than 512 this fire alert will be serial printed you can see that okay so you can manually if you want you can manually assign two preset you know preset variable resistors to two of these uh, a0 and a1 and you can rotate it and you can see when one thing is greater than 512 you can see the fire alert so if you want if you want you can also serial print the values okay and so that you can see ah this value is more than this so where you can serial print the is not within the if condition you can serial print it outside the if condition right so that you can uh, real real in real you can see ah okay, okay this is going beyond the 512 so we have uh, the fire alert message in the serial monitor Okay, so you can see the values also also you can see the expected output so i hope you can understand why i'm writing this because you are right because you don't know no? when the sphere alert is coming you don't know whether really it is more than 512 or not so if you serial print the value and then you know oh, the value is also in the serial monitor and the fire alert is also there okay so like yes obviously so first you will have this and that and you have the fire alert so it's up to you um yes 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 that's fine so if you don't want you you can avoid it that's your choice so i can just keep it as a comment yeah okay. it's up to you uh yes fine uh that's beautiful so apart from that um uh, so who decides that that's the question if if one is more than to 512 we are going to make it true right we are going to have a print fire alert if either this or this and if both are more than yes still we are going to fire alert and if both are less than or equal to 512 or if both are if if none of the them are not more than not more than 512 then that the whole if condition is false we are going to skip the fire alert message we will only print this whatever this uh, temperature and serious value serial values and we are not going to print the fire alert value so you will see ah uh, these values are now less than 512 that is why we don't have fire alert message then if one is increased uh, you will see ah uh, then the t values or s values more than 512 so that is why we have the fire alert message so with that values you will have the fire alert message as well you get the point right so who is deciding that this operator is deciding deciding that so this thing 
this operator will decide that if there's an end operator then he will only raise that only both the 512 now but we have but now we have or operator so only one going beyond the 512 will be enough right if only one variable goes beyond the 512 this is enough okay so that's all no so not much if, if you really focus on my previous or condition then you will understand this scenario so i think now if you know this converting stuff just to sensors and all and still now you can make a complete system right if condition using just if condition right for a fire alert system so this or or and part you will decide depending on the requirement if the if your client or customer or somebody says uh, or the requirement is if only both temperature and temperature will go should go to more than 512 and sensor smoke also should go go to more than 512 then only you have to assume there is fire then you have to use an and operator or if your client comes and say if only one thing either temperature or smoke goes more than 512 then please uh, raise the alarm understood if you say it's like that then you have to use a or operator understood uh, yes okay you get the point so that's all guys um, I hope you understood that video what I am teaching so if you want to have a look at the code I will scroll it down up slowly so from here to here you can uh, put uh, you can pass the video and draw, write it down if you want okay so that's all uh, thanks for listening actually and uh, yep have a great day and consider subscribing us okay thanks guys